Hey everybody, it's Chance. Today I wanna to make a beat on the Volca Sample 2 using only samples from my bass guitar. The first thing I'm gonna do is collect all the samples and then process them and then import them into the Sample 2 and make the beat. So let's get into it. All right, so I just finished processing the samples. Um, I'm gonna start with going over the drums. The first one I worked on was, uh, it's the sound of me tapping on the bass before any processing kind of sounds like this. And then what I did was I EQ'd it a little bit, boost some lows and compressed it. Next thing I worked on was this, what I called a snare, but it is um, me tapping on the strings. For that I, I EQ'd it, added some distortion, some compression and some reverb. Kind of a snare, more of a, of a percussion sound. Next I did me flicking on the uh, the tuner, made this kind of a clap sound. That's what it sounded like with no processing. Then I added some EQ, added some compression and some reverb. Next I made this hat out of me tapping on the backside of the tuner and really didn't do anything to this one but EQ it. And I uh, changed the pitch of the sample. Same thing with this one, which is a different version of that same tap, just to give the hats a little bit of variety in the samples. But I did a little bit more processing to this one, but I added some distortion, some chorus, and reverb. That just gives it some life. The next thing I did was the sample of just the bass. For this, I added some EQ, just to take out some really boomy frequencies, and some compression. Next thing I worked on was this power cord. I put this through an amp simulator, which is just a preset I tweaked. Um, added some flanger, some delay and reverb, and then a little bit of EQ, just a low cut. For all of that, it sounded like this. And then with the amp sim, it sounds like this. Next, I used this bass harmonic, which I just tuned to be the same note as everything else because the harmonic was a G and I just wanted it to be an E like everything else I played. Added some distortion and filtering, some chorus, some delay, and some reverb. So without all of that, that sounds like this. Not really much to it, then with everything just brings it to life. And lastly, this lead sound, which I believe was just a high E on the guitar or on the bass, um, added some distortion, chorus and reverb. Oh, and, and EQ on both of these, sorry. And then with the distortion, chorus and reverb, just a really cool sound. So those were the samples. So now I'm gonna get into making the beat.
That was a fun challenge. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave it a like. Um, I'll see you again very soon. Until then, be good to each other, okay? Bye.